Hey everybody, uh, we're, what we're going to go through today are some stretches, one in particular for the shoulders and upper back. It's going to influence the shoulders the most, but also in doing so it's going to help improve the upper back and the lower neck. I'm seeing it very, very common for all of you guys that are stuck at a desk for a majority of your day or on a computer. We're getting very drawn in as a populace and so what I'm seeing across my my, my family here at the clinic is that a lot of people, if we're not fighting it appropriately, are starting to fall over and cave in. First off, before I get into it, big shout out to my son Keller coming up with the design for the new fun shirts at the clinic. I thought Ohana was a good fit. So anyway, back to the stretch. We're going to want to be stretching the pecs. When we're working on computers a lot, keyboards, mouse, you're, you're drawing the arm into internal rotation and it's coming forward. It's going to shorten the pec muscles over time and it's going to leave the musculature on the back of the shoulders weak and loose. So we do need to strengthen those but that'll be a separate video. But the ones that have shortened up and gotten tight we need to stretch back out. So not only can the shoulder come back it can externally rotate like it should and sit properly. You're going to have fewer shoulder issues less pain, but more importantly, less dysfunction of the shoulder girdle, less likely to wear it out, end up needing some kind of a surgery later on down the road. So, easiest way to get them both in a doorway. Have the head, or the hands just above the head. Now you can stretch them out with them down, and it will, and you walk into it a little bit. Keep yourself upright. Do not stand way back and then fall forward into it. It's not gonna be good. Have the hands on the doorway and just take little tiny steps coming forward until it pulls the arms back appropriately. Keeping the head up and back, don't let it fall forward. So keep the head up and move into the doorway. You can do it with the hands about the, the height of the head, but it won't stretch the pecs very well. It, it gets part of it, but what you're going to get the most bang for your buck is from elevating the hands to be slightly above the head. That way, you've got them up. They're, it's a better rotation, a better position to actually stretch out this anterior delt and the pec muscle. So get the hands up, walk into it, and allow them to just get sucked back, pinch the blades, and it pulls those arms back at the same time. It's a good way to get it done. Both sides at the same. It's quicker that way. You can do it one at a time where you grab onto the door frame, again with the hand above the head, and just rotate the body until it pulls that arm back. Then you can just stand there, let that stretch, and then do the same thing the opposite way, one at a time, there's no problem with that. But I like the doorway because you can do them both at the same time, keeps it symmetrical, and it's just more efficient. So there you go. Take that with a grain of salt, right? If you're that person that's getting drawn in with what you do all day, give yourself some time to actually stretch those shoulders back. It's not only going to help you look better with your better posture, but it's also going to help your body function better and stay on top of your health. So have a great day and good luck stretching out those arms.